All right, now, if you need a calculator, it wouldn't be a bad thing to grab one here. If you need one. Uh, we're gonna do a couple calculations. You'll need them for the homework today, so. So, um, so when we get to it, you'll definitely need it. Um, all right. Perfect. Okay, so um, we're on section 4.4 four today. We're talking about utility meters, right? We've been talking about you know, all the stuff with um, the mortgage and all that other stuff. Well, utility meters is the thing I started yesterday. So it's based on, um, can you read a meter? Do you know how that, that, that number system works? One more time, we'll do a quick review. Do you know how to calculate usage if I give you two meter readings? Can you find the final cost of the usage if I give you a price? And then we're gonna do in class assignment today. There's seven problems total that we're gonna to do together uh, before you leave and then you'll turn in and we'll be done. So that'll be your last part today. And we'll be done, it's guaranteed. So that's kind of the idea of what we're doing today. So meter reading, usage, so. All right, questions what we're doing today. That's our goals. All right, so let's go through an example here. So this is an example of a meter, right? We did a couple of these yesterday. This is a gas and electric company meter. Uh, this is the old school meters with the dials. There's digital dials, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, but on a utility meter, when you read it, I know look on this one, if you notice, there's no arrows, right? Common sense, look at the numbers and that'll tell you which way it's spinning. So like on this first one, the five dials, zero, one, two, it's spinning this direction. So when you read that first dial, what number is it? Five and a half. It's five, yeah, it's five and a half, right? You only read off the whole number that, it's, that it went past. You don't read the next number, you just read what it's already been passed. So it's at five currently, okay? It's moving towards six, it hasn't reached it yet. Okay, next one. So the next dial goes the opposite direction. How I know that, zero, one, two. So what number's on the next one? Five, five again. It didn't quite make it to six, so it's at five currently. Perfect, just put it back. Thanks, Joe. So would you be, like, how fast those spin? Like, how much? Um, the, the ones in the back can spin pretty quick, right? It, it's moving throughout the day when you're using, like, gas and electricity. The ones in the front, hardly ever move all year. Because it's literally like daily use. It's like daily, or it's like, no, per, it's like per minute, per hour, per day, per month, per year. So like the first number really isn't moving at all. So they can get a reading of how it's working, right? Because you can't get in there and you can't move the dials at all because they're like set. So, um, but yeah, the front ones don't move. If you ever watched like the movie like uh, Christmas Vacation, when they like, if you ever seen the movie with Chevy Chase, there's a scene where he covers his whole house in Christmas lights, like head to toe, like every inch of the house is covered in Christmas lights, and he plugs it in, and the utility meter is like spinning like crazy. It doesn't work that way. Um, you would actually see it moving, but it doesn't like all the dials don't spin. This is like minute, hour, month. You know, that sort of thing. So the one on the right would spin faster. Or one yeah, the one on the right would spin. The one in the back does. Yeah. All right, next one. Next meter when we read it. So it's obviously spinning this direction, but what number have I already been past? Eight. Eight. You don't read the number it's going towards, you read the number it went past. Okay, next one spinning the other direction, what am I at? Seven. Seven. And the last one? Four. Four. You haven't quite made it to five yet. That's how you read that, that marker up. Make sense? The marker's been passed. Okay. Now, I'm going to write that number down. Five, five, eight, seven, four. Okay. This is the answer, like on the first couple problems, it's going to ask you what is the number. You have to read it off. Uh, I try to pick pictures like this where they're massive, where you can easily see them. They're clear as day. Um, I don't think there's going to be any arrows on it, so you'll have to kind of figure out which way it's spinning. Okay. There's even digital dials that you just have to look at. Uh, but the analog ones are probably the most common right now. They are going to digital now. Digital are easy, just read the number on the screen. Uh, there's an old school one where, there's an old school uh, analog one where it's got like actual like ticking dials, like that go like, it's almost like an old school clock, where it's, you know, six, five, four, three, and it might have this, where it's doing something like that. And you know, each of these have a, like an imaginary line going through the middle of it, because they're like clicking, they're like flipping. And the idea is on this one, you haven't quite made it to two yet. It's like, it looks like the dial's like rotating. You haven't made it to two, so this number would actually be a one. 
because you're moving towards two. It's like it's think of it like this is a uh, this is like a circular like cog, and you're seeing the numbers like rotate. Where it's one, two, three, and it's like rotating, and um, you're starting to see it like moving towards the two. That type of thing. All right, questions at all about the uh, the numbers here? How you read this off? Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's go through another one. So you get practice at how to read this meter. Um, in fact, I'm going to write that in my number. I don't want that number to go away. We're going to use this in the next couple examples. Okay. Next meter. Okay. It's got five numbers again. And this is electric company. Kilowatt hours. So, how do we read it? First number. Four. Four? Okay, I'll go with that. Next one? Zero. It's actually nine. Here's the weird part. It's going this direction. It hasn't quite made it to zero yet, so it's currently at nine. So that's the tricky one. That's why I picked it. Wouldn't it be three nine then? So, uh, no, on this one, I think it's actually at four. It's like it's actually on it. So that's how they that's how they mark it. I, you know, if you're close, I'm, I'm going to say that it's at four on that one. Um, I, the ones I picked today are very clear. I'm not going to have this weird messy stuff. But on that nine one, it's not at the actual marker yet. Uh, next one, eight. Yeah, that one's clear. Next one, zero. Zero. It hasn't made it to one yet. It's moving that direction. It hasn't made it there. Next number, three. That's a three. That's one I can clearly see as a three. Okay, so there's my numbers. Now, here's the idea why I picked these two. This would be the second type of question you're going to have. How much did you use? What was your total usage for that month or that year? Well, now what you do is you subtract these. You subtract them, and that will give you what your usage is. So in my case, I'm subtracting that's a 1, that's a 7, that's a 0. I have to borrow making that a 4. This is a 15 minus 9, which is 6. And 4 minus 4, that's 0. So this is my total usage for that month. I use that many kilowatt hours. Or maybe that's the year total. Questions? Okay, all right. Next one. So we have some more dials here. This is a little bit smaller. So. Okay, what do we think? What are the numbers? They're kind of small. Sorry, here. Let me zoom. So we'll do a super zoom here so you get kind of so you can see these a little bit better. I'll scroll in. Yeah. So it's an electric company again, it's got kilowatt hours. Alright, first number, what do we got? Seven. So, next one. Two, three. I'm gonna say three. I think it's right on three. Next one? Eight. Eight. Yeah, it's not quite to nine yet. Next one, eight, eight, then, and six, six. Okay, there's your numbers. Okay, and then again, if you were trying to figure out total usage, you would subtract that number from whatever other numbers you had previously. Okay. Questions on how to read meters. All right, the last type of question you're going to have. Obviously, a lot of the first questions, read the meter. The second question is find the usage. I'll give you two meters, and you have to tell me the total that you use. Uh, bigger number on the top, smaller number on the bottom, that's how you always subtract. Um, eventually, it could do a rollover where it goes from like zeros uh, or went from like a big number back to zeros again. Um, you'd notice that in because um, it rolled completely to zero and you'd have to like figure out this is like whatever like the bigger number is, it'd be like 10,000 as opposed to just a bunch of zeros, that type of thing, uh, or 100,000 instead since this is up to 99,000. So you just have to figure that out. Uh, the numbers I'm going to give you are smaller numbers. You can just subtract them pretty easily. Today. But the last type of question that we have, um, other than your meters, is how much does it cost to use it? Okay. So for instance, let me back out of this. I don't need to be that far zoomed in. Okay. So um, the last type of question. So let's say you did your meter reading. And you figured out your, your total numbers, right? So let's say your numbers were, you know, you, you did your two numbers, so you had 
50,000 units, and the month before that you had 45,000 units, right? And you did your subtraction out, I'm just going to chuck a whole number. So this is a 4, that's a 10, that's a 0, 0, 0, 10 minus 5 is 5, and 4 minus 4 is 0. So you used 5,000 units that month, okay? That's, that's your usage, right? That's what we just did a little bit ago. But if I told you the cost per usage, maybe it cost you 35 cents per unit. Per unit. Now I have a cost efficiency. I can figure out how much that usage costs you. 35 cents is 0 0.35. Right, that's 35 cents. You're going to take that times the 5,000. And this will give you your bill for that month. That's what the, that's literally what they do. They give you kind of what your usage number is. I know the water company does that. They kind of charge, they tell you what you're going to be charged per for, uh, for the water that month. Um, gas companies do it all the time. You can call, you know, Pinkard County Oil and figure out how much um, oil is going to cost, or LP, or whatever they're going to charge you. Okay. Um, depends on the year. It really fluctuates. Um, we spent a lot of money on LP some years. Uh, but yeah, in this case, maybe this is your six months usage on a farm for like gas or whatever it is. Uh, this, this meter's power, but let's say this is gas. If I multiply these together, it's $1,735 when I multiply those together. Okay, so 1750 sorry, 50, not 35, 50. There you go, that's my total, maybe that's your six months uses of your gas that you used. Questions at all about, about how to read the meters, how to like figure out costs? Yeah, please. Is that a real, like, accurate number? An accurate number? I made that up. Um, I've definitely, we've had years um, for using LP where we fill up like a half a tank. You know, we have those big tanks on the farms for, you know, gas. Um, I, I paid seven fifty dollars sometimes. Uh, the highest I've ever paid for gas was like, God, what year was it? It was 2003. It was right after, right after they started the second Iraqi war. Um, I paid $7,500 for gas one year. $7,500. I had to take out a loan to pay it for gas. So, because they were charging like, you know, per unit it was like 30 some cents or whatever. They charged like $2.30 one year. And I was like, it was the same gas. So like, I hadn't changed anything. It was like, I, I had just about died when that bill came in. I was like, ah. Uh, what? I called them on the phone to figure out if it was a mistake and it wasn't. I was like, oh my god. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty normal. For like a six months stay, I'd say it's probably about half of that usually. You use what you use in LP anymore. Um, what is charge of LP? Do you guys even know on the farm right now? What are they charging per, per unit? I don't know. I don't think it's that expensive right now, but it goes up and down per year. It really does, it fluctuates. Do you do any like drying out of the farm or anything? No, no, uh, we, we don't do that. We just take it to co op. So, no, we, we, don't, we don't have any storage bins. We do no drying in our, in our place at all. So, in some years, it's like we don't make any profit, like zero, when they're charging a bunch for drying. Like, it's because we dry 700,000 bushel. Yeah. So, it, it, saves you, it saves you money doing that on your own farm, but you're also paying for the, the gas. Yeah. Yeah. A ton of gas. Yeah, you're using a lot. Like, like semi loads. Yeah, we don't do that. Like our tanks are for our houses only. Yeah, we have like a big bowl of that you okay. fill. Yeah, so oh yeah, I couldn't even imagine the cost you have to what you guys pay. It's astronomical. Like this is probably like nothing to break. I don't even know how much those how much those big bullets normally hold. Thirty thousand? Well, I don't even know. I don't know. We don't have a big one, we have kind of a smaller one, probably about a half size. I don't know. Like, let me let me look it up. Let me look it up. It's an old anhydrous ball. It's a, yeah, it's a big one. Oh, okay. Let me look it up when you guys are working on it. All right. So, all right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do seven problems today, and then we're gonna turn it in before you leave. I, I actually want to know now how much that actually holds and what that costs. All right. So, uh, so we're gonna turn this in before leaving. You need a paper and pencil in front of you right now. Everything else can go off the top of your desk. Um, you need a calculator. Definitely grab a calculator if you don't already have one. They're in the back. I think everyone's got one. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Um, when we do each picture, I'll try to zoom in. I tried to pick pictures that were very easy to see, like nothing tricky. Okay, the first 
two or three, you're just reading a meter. Reading a meter. Um, I have the ones, the old analog ones, and I have the ones with the returning dial. So it's really easy to see that one. That one's almost a joke. Um, and then there's going to be three problems where you have to, uh, where you have to calculate uh, what the usage was, and there's one problem you have to find the, the final price of what you paid. Okay, here we go. First meter. I try to make it big so you can see this. Okay, so record the number. So this is problem number one. Record the meter that um, the, the number for your meter. Uh, mark this as number one. So remember, you got to figure out which way it's rotating, so you know which number it's going towards. So figure that out. Or you read the number that it's it's past, not the number it's going towards. Okay. All right, we go to the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're good. Everyone's good. Okay, moving on to the second one. This is problem number two. This is one of those old school like dialed ones where it kind of turns. Again, read the number, it's already passed, not the one it's going towards. That one's pretty straightforward. Good so far? Third problem. Okay, this one, because I kind of warned you of this. I want to figure out how much you used. Okay, so when you get your two dials, figure out this dial, figure out this dial. Whatever number is bigger, whatever number is bigger, that's like the end of the month. So put that number on the top and you subtract. First one has arrows, the second one doesn't. So you gotta kinda figure it out. I don't know which one's the end of the month. The bigger number's the end of the month. I don't do any weird tricky stuff for you guys yet. We'll do those maybe Monday. So you get your two dials, beginning of the month, end of the month, or vice versa. Figure out how much you use total. This is where a calculator will come into play. Use the calculator to figure it out. Pretty sure this is the this is the end of the month. This is the end of the month. That's the beginning of the month. Pretty sure. On a test, I'll have them clearly kind of mark like May and June or whatever it is. Again, you're finding total usage. I think we have three of these. Pretty sure. Still need it. Okay, number four. Same exact thing. Try to pick the easy rotating dials now. Give you an idea on this one. Um, this is a seven coming up. Just so you know, that is a seven coming up. Sorry. I can definitely see that would go both ways. If you didn't know what that next number from that was. Because if that was the bottom number of the five, that'd make a big difference on that problem. So beginning of the month, end of the month, same thing as before, forgot the total usage. That next number coming up on this dial is a seven. Same thing again. This would be, I think, one of the last ones we do for reading the dials, I'm pretty sure. So, um, this is the beginning of, or this is the end of the month again. This is the beginning of the month. Figure out your total usage. So, end of the month, beginning of the month. Yeah, 
you're good at this, this might be a career path you want to take. You get paid a lot of money to meet or to read meters. Here's like it's silly. This should be what number six? All right. Okay. This should be the last one you're reading meters. If you're doing usage, I think. But number seven is the one you have to calculate. So again, um, on this one, um, beginning of the month, end of the month, kind of a situation. This is the uh, this is the beginning of the month, or sorry, end of the month. That's the beginning of the month. I try to stick with the same pattern again. So, end of the month, beginning of the month. Usage, yeah. And a month, beginning of the month. I think that was the same pattern I used every single time so far. And the last one we're gonna do number seven coming up here in a little bit. That's the one where you have to calculate how much money you have to pay for your meter. And the number I made up, it's a made up number, the next one I'm gonna do. So don't think it, don't read into like this actual real number because it might be astronomically big. I have no idea what it's going to cost in the next one. Okay, are we good? Yep. Last one, here it is. This one where you have to calculate usage and what you're paying total. So. Um, on this one, this is the beginning of the month, this is the end of the month, sorry, I put them out of order, I probably should switch them. End of the month, beginning of the month, figure out your total usage that you're going to have, and then um, once you figure out how many units you use, or whatever this is, it could, be, it could be power, it could be anything, I want you to calculate what your total is. Thank you. That's how the test goes. I'm pretty good. Did I have all 10 back there still? Or except for the, I guess, the five that I have. Yep. Okay, good. Thanks. I will. Later. All right, this is the last one. You gotta calculate how much you use. Yeah, this is the beginning of the month. Sorry, I put it out of order. Beginning of the month, end of the month. And you have to pay $8.75 per unit you used. That is not a realistic number for anything that I know of. Um, I just made up a number. Okay, that's your last one. When you're done, you can put your name on it, put the baskets. Either one front and back, it doesn't really matter. And you're done for the day. Right, I'm going to freeze that. Now you can see those numbers. Should I use the right Yes, now let me give it a pass. Right. 